Hello out there. Uh, welcome back to Six Wins. This is another top six video. It's gonna be a Chris top six video. Chris is going to benevolently grace us with his top six 90s comedies. The golden era for the, me. I, I, yeah, I mean, everybody's talking about like, I was a 90s kid. Like literally people that are born in like 98 are like, I'm a 90s kid. Like you were two. You don't know anything in the 90s. So um, you just gotta know that this is, this is all what you need. So you should go ahead and subscribe and like before you even hear the six because this is gonna change your life forever. Anyway, so here is my list of favorite 90s comedies starting at number six. My sixth favorite 90s comedy, Kingpin. Hi. Hello. Not you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I will spoil it now, not the only Fairly Brothers movie on this list. If you've never seen it, Woody Harrelson plays a guy named Roy Munson. He's a retired bowler who was forced to retire after a bet goes wrong and he gets his hand sliced off by a bunch of bowlers. So he basically enlists the help of this Amish guy, Randy Quaid, to go bowl in this big tournament in Reno, Nevada and try to like win some money. And Bill Murray, he plays one of the best comedic villains of all time, <laughs> Bigger McCracken. How about one more title, sweetness? Oh, look, look at Big Earn, Chris. Look at Big Earn. Calls her back. How oh, I think that one is is gonna start you off with some credit because I think it's one that maybe people want to expect right away, or maybe even on a top six list, because uh, it's a little bit more a little classier of a comedy in a weird way. I don't know. It's it's not like the most slapstick ridiculous. Right. I'd say. Right. So my fifth favorite. 90s comedy, The Sandlot. Watch it, jerk. Shut up, idiot. Moron. Scab eater. Butt sniffer. Yeah. Puss licker. Fart yeah. smeller. <laughs> it was hard. I didn't want to include too many like kids movies. PG. This would probably be the only PG movie on the list. Yeah. But it would also make an appearance on just my favorite movies of all time list. Like this was childhood. Mm -hmm. All of us just no cell phones. I hate to sound like that cliche. You know old guy but no cell phones you just rode your bike to where you thought your friends were you saw a bunch of bikes outside that's where they were and just baseball for us it was baseball but also basketball football depending on the season and it just captured that so well and all the characters so distinct so funny and if you've never seen it it's a classic it holds up is that your sister out there in left field naked she's naked shut up porter the main character, Smalls, he is from the, out of town and his mom, just all she wants for him is to make friends. And he's never played baseball before, but he kind of gets taken under the wing from Benny the Jet Rodriguez, my childhood hero. And you know, it's all about making friends. Just good, feel good, feel good comedy that was made in the 90s. So boom, it's on my list. Yeah, I like that. I did not expect that. I didn't know any of the things that were gonna be on this list. You play ball like a girl. But I feel like people that I that I do know that have like watched it as like younger people now, who it's an older movie for them, they really like it. It's like a classic coming of age story as well, like coming into who you are and, and learning about growing up and, and being in a group of, of uh, your peers. Obviously this is mostly boys, uh, there are girl characters in there, but not in the main group. Um, so yeah, I, it's it's kind of up there with, uh, I'll, I'll drop another, I studied English literature in undergrad, so I'm gonna hit you with these stupid ass English wit stuff, but I would consider this a building's roman, uh, which is the, uh, a fancy word for like a coming of age, like as a uh, boy matures kind of story. One more quick note oh. on Sandlot. Yeah. I remember when my son was being born, my first thought, one of my first thoughts was, can't wait to watch Sandlot with him. Oh. And it's a cool thing. We haven't yet, because he, you know, he's almost five already, but getting him to sit still through a whole movie is tough. We've done some, but I'm holding off Sandlot until he's maybe like seven or eight until he can really. Oh, nice. So my fourth favorite 90s comedy, Dumb and Dumber. Hey, wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? 
guys, guys, guys! There's a lot of Jim Carrey movies that could have made the list, but Dumb and Dumber for me is just the ultimate classic. If you've never seen it, first of all, what the hell is wrong with you? Go see it. If you haven't seen it, it's about two buffoons, dumb guys, with a lot of heart. There's some heart in the movie. They, they are trying to return a briefcase to some woman that left it at the airport, and that's really the premise. I'm guessing, because I mean, we'll have to wait for the top three, but right now, at least for me, this is probably like the most quotable movies, period. And I would I would put this up against almost any comedy for like just one of the best quotables to do. If you, if you, like, if you like a guy that can do movie quotes, baby, you know, Make, make sure he knows Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> this is a dating tip. If you go on a date and the guy cannot quote Dumb and Dumber, red flag, Dumb yeah. and... Big red flag. Yeah. No good. That's terrible. That's worse than holding up the picture of the fish from dating profile, which I never got. I don't know. I like fishing. Okay, my third favorite 90s comedy, Multiplicity. Take this, tuck, tuck, fold, TTF. Tuck, tuck, folds. Two tucks and a fold. Michael Keaton, his life gets way too busy. He lives in California, He's he works in construction, and he's got a family. He's got zero free time to spend with himself. His job takes him 16 hours a day, whatever. We've all been there. Right, you know, just You all wish you could have more time. Yeah, so what does he do? He clones himself. Mm. So, you know, simple enough. Now he's got a clone to do the work stuff, and he can do all the stuff that he wants to do. Yeah. Well. And he realizes that the home life is too busy. So what does he do? Clones himself again. So now he's got two that does the work stuff, who turns out all kind of grisly gruff. Number three, who's my personal favorite rendition of him, is the housewife guy who's just kind of like, Okay, now we roll it over. Nice and flat. There we go. Now we got it. No air is going to get in there. And then <laughs> he's still too busy. So what does two do? Two clones himself. And you know how sometimes when you make a copy <laughs> of a copy, mm. you make that copy of that copy and it doesn't turn out quite as sharp as the original. Yeah. So now there's four Michael Keatons or four Doug Kinneys. And the fourth one, you can't really say the R word, but he's a little off. <laughs> he's, he's a little off when you make a copy of a copy. And man, it's just, Original story, great acting, Michael Keaton, all four very distinct characters who are all interacting, and you know which one is which one at all times because of how well it's played and doesn't get mentioned enough among great comedies, that's why I put it number three. But you said you've got two that couldn't move no matter what, even though you'd love to put Multiplicity as number one for all the reasons you just went over, but number two and number one, these are probably locked in here for as uh, all time. Yes. So take it away. Yes. So that's why I'm not even going to say my second favorite. I'm going to say the second funniest <laughs> 90s comedy, Happy Gilmore. Well, moron, good for Happy Gilmore. Oh, my God. It's a notch above Billy Madison. I know a lot of people are Billy Madison fans. Yeah. I just think Happy Gilmore is just pound for pound the better comedy very entertaining story. You got your cameos from Bob Barker. You got your cameos from Mr. Larson. You have, in my opinion, the best comedy villain of all time in Shooter McGavin. This guy spends more time in the sand than David Hasselhoff. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna beat your ass on the course. Yeah, right. Grizzly Adams had a beard. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Let me show you how we do it in the pros. about your grandma, Gilmore. She can live with me. Be my maid. Yeah! Adam Sandler on the list. You had to see him in a 90s comedy list, right? There's only one more spot here. And maybe it's doubling down on somebody. Maybe it's somebody you're not expecting. Maybe it's Night at the Roxbury. Come on, Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> What's your number one? So my number one favorite 90s comedy, Tommy Boy. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> So if you've never seen Tommy Boy, very simple premise, Chris Farley is kind of a buffoon, as you might expect. His dad owns Callahan Auto Parts and dies. So Chris Farley, along with 
his dad's right-hand man, David Spade, have to go out and sell a certain amount of brake pads, and this is all brand new to Farley. He's you're driving along, you're driving along, and all of a sudden the kids are yelling from the back seat, I gotta go to the bathroom, Daddy! Not now, damn it! He's not a salesman, he's a slack off, he likes getting high and eating uh, meat lover's pizza in the trunk, and just, I was such a fan of Chris Farley, and David Spade is still one of the best comedic minds on the planet. Yeah. Tommy Boy, number one. Nice! So another comedic icon there. I, I know we've talked about this. Like, I feel like Sandler, Carrie, and uh, Farley are kind of like the 90s like comedy guys. Like they were had like the biggest comedy movies. So all three of them on the list. Tommy Boy as number one. But what did you think of uh, the top six 90s comedies uh, that, that Chris gave? Do you agree? Do you disagree and have other ones? Did you agree with two of them and now have to hit the like button? I got my eye on you, Robert. I know you found two that matched the Roberts out there. I, like. <laughs> I wonder how many Roberts are gonna watch this video, at least this part of this video. I, probably only like one will stick around because after they heard Robert the first time, they're like, oh no. <laughs> but there's one that just like accidentally left it on and like couldn't hit pause fast enough. Yeah, we're <laughs> looking at you right now. We'll see through your screen. <laughs>